Hi friends, thanks for joining me again. My name is Natalie and I'm here in the Children's Garden at Unity. The last couple weeks we have been talking about zeal. Remember the power for October. So this week I thought we might do something that we usually do in circle. But first we're gonna start out with the sacred breath. I'm gonna use my Alpha Breaths book this time. And we're gonna be talking about joyfulness. So joy gives us wings. So today we're going to do a butterfly breath. Let's see what it says. Spread your arms like beautiful butterfly wings on the in breath and let them flap gently on the out breath. All right, so let's do that together. Spread your arms like beautiful butterfly wings on the in breath and let them flap gently on the out breath. Ready? Okay, we're gonna go on the in breath, spreading our wings and on the out breath, just flapping them down. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, growing your wings and breathe out, flapping them down like beautiful butterfly wings. Let's do that one more time, okay? Breathe in and grow your wings and breathe out, flapping your wings down gently. Great job. Now let's just rub our hands together. Feel all that heat and energy. Oh, it's so exciting. All right, now tap your head with your fingers. Just gently tap going down next to your ears, along your neck and shoulders, tapping gently on your collarbone and putting your hands on your heart. You can take a big deep breath in, close your outer eyes and breathe out. <sighs> Connecting our head and heart we're just gonna think of a couple things that we're grateful for. So you can think in your brain or you can say three things that you're grateful for out loud. <sighs> Today, I am grateful for this beautiful, beautiful weather. I am also grateful for the rain that we had at my house last night. It smelled so good. And I am also grateful for all of our wonderful teachers and friends in our community. Let's take one big deep breath in and another breath out. And on the count of three, let's say, thank you, God. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God. Amen. Great job. So joyfulness, it kind of goes with enthusiasm and excitement. So what we're going to do today is I am going to read you, remember from the Family Virtues Guide, I'm going to read to you about joyfulness. And then we're just going to talk about some examples of what's joyful and what might not be. All right, here we go. What is joyfulness? Joyfulness is being filled with happiness, peace, love, and a sense of well-being. Joy is inside us all. It comes from a sense of being loved. It comes from an appreciation for the gift of life. It comes when we are doing what we know is right. Joy is related to fun, but not exactly the same thing. Fun comes from what is happening outside, having a good time. Joy comes from what is happening inside, Joyfulness is always there, regardless of what is happening on the outside. You can invest this inner joy in anything you do. You can enjoy doing your chores or homework, even a job that's boring or unpleasant. If you look inside and find your joy, you can make it a joyful job. Joy is the inner sense that can carry us through hard times, even when we're feeling sad. So 
joy is kind of like enthusiasm. It's something that we can use, we can dig deep and find inside to make anything that we're doing fun and exciting and just filled with joy. So do you remember in circle when we do the yeah and the boo for what's joyful and what's not? Well, we're gonna do something like that, except for instead of cheering yeah, we're gonna do yeah. And if it's not a joyful thing, we're gonna take our fists, you can stomp too if you want, and we're just gonna stomp it out. All right, ready? Let's see. Enjoying whatever it is that you are doing. Enjoying whatever it is that you're doing. What do you think? That's right. I think that one's a yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, what's next? Enjoy life only when things are going well. Enjoying life only when things are going well. Ugh, yeah, let's stomp it out. Ready? Stomp it out. Ugh, yuck, let's get rid of that one. What's next? Look inside for your inner happiness. Look inside. I think that's a yeah, ready? Here we go. Yeah! All right, keep a frown on your face. Hmm, let's try. Let's do a smile first. Oh, that feels joyful to me. Does it to you? Yeah. Okay, let's try a frown. Hmm. Oh, that is not joyful. Get ready and stomp it out. Yeah. All right. Always look outside yourself for your fun and happiness. Always look outside yourself for your fun and happiness. No way. Get rid of that one. Ready? Stomp it out. Ugh. All right. Remember that God is the only presence and power in the universe and that God is good. Remember that God is the only presence and power in the universe and that God is good. What do you think? Yeah! Ready? Yeah! All right, we have three more, four more left. Appreciate some gift in your life and yourself. What do you think? Appreciate gifts. That's right! Ready? Yeah! What's next? Feel so sad when bad things happen that you cannot learn from them at all. Uh, no way! Get rid of that, ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Stomp it out! All right. Forget to appreciate the gifts in your life. Forget to appreciate gifts? No way! Ready? Stomp it out! Ah. All right, this is our last one. Feel inner peace even when things are tough. Feel inner peace even when things are tough. What do you think? That's right. All right, here we go. Yeah! Thank you so much for joining me and for doing that. So you have a couple things to practice this week. You have, remember your butterfly breath, breathing in and then flapping your wings. And you also have your joyfulness to pay attention to. So, you know, use your joy when you're doing things that you love. That's pretty easy, right? You can do that. Try to use your joy this week in things that you might not like and pay attention to when you're not using your joy. And maybe if you're not using your joy, you know, you can always even just stop what you're doing and stomp it out. Practice doing that throughout the week, okay? So we're gonna end in a giant air hug, ready? Take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder and take your left hand and put it on your right shoulder. Feel all that love, all that joy. And on the count of three, we're just gonna send this out to each other, ready? One, two, three. Have a great week.